Today, we're diving into the world of monumental transportation feats. Get ready to be amazed as we showcase the 20 biggest things ever transported across the globe. From massive machinery to towering structures, prepare to witness incredible engineering and logistics in action. Let's explore together. Number 20. NASA's Crawler Transporter NASA has this big machine called the Crawler Transporter. It's been around for over 50 years. It's like the size of a baseball field. This machine helps move big stuff, like rockets, to the launch pad. It's super strong and has been doing its job for a long time. Even when NASA had budget problems and projects shut down, they still used the Crawler Transporter. Now, NASA wants to send people back to the moon with the Artemis project. They're confident in the Crawler Transporter to help with this. This machine is so reliable that NASA hasn't needed to change it much. It's a key part of their plans for the future. Number 19. Large Hadron Collider Magnet Big news from the Large Hadron Collider. It's this huge machine in CEIN where scientists do experiments by smashing tiny particles together really fast. They do this to learn things they couldn't learn any other way. Recently, they got a big delivery from the United States. Two giant magnets for upgrading the collider. These magnets are part of a big project that many countries are working on. In about two years, they'll put these magnets in place to make the collider even better. But why is this such a big deal? Well, it's because this upgrade is part of a long-term plan to understand some really big questions about the universe. Scientists are trying to recreate what happened during the Big Bang, but in a controlled way. They're curious about things like dark matter and if we can ever make a Big Bang happen again. So, they're taking their time to make sure everything's just right for their experiments. It's exciting stuff, but it takes time. Scientists have to be patient because they're aiming for some really important discoveries. Who knows what they might find out next? Number 18. NASA Space Shuttles NASA has these special space shuttles they use to go up into space. What's cool about these shuttles is that they can be used again and again. After they fly in space, they come back to Earth. But eventually, they get old and need to retire. In 2012, two of these shuttles needed to go to a museum. Now, moving these shuttles is not easy. Remember those big vehicles called crawlers I mentioned? They're cool but not fast. So, moving shuttles involves big cranes, boating jets, and lots of people. They even had to change Boeing 747 jets so the shuttles could ride on them. Here's how they do it. First, they prepare the shuttles for travel in a special building. Then, they use a huge machine called the Mate-to-Mate -mate device to lift the shuttles onto the jets. Once they're secure, the jets fly them to where they need to go. In 2012, they flew Discovery and another shuttle to a museum in Washington, D.C. Once there, they unloaded them and put them on display for everyone to see. It's a long journey just to end up in a museum, but it's worth it to share these amazing machines with everyone. Number 17. Caterpillar 797 Haul Truck The Caterpillar 797 Haul Truck is a big truck used in mining. Have you seen Gold Rush? If yes, you might know that getting big machines to places like Alaska or Canada is hard. The bigger the machine, the harder it is to move it there on time and within budget. Usually, special truckers are hired to move these big machines from where they are bought to where they are needed. But what if you have to buy something from one country and take it to another? In a video, a Caterpillar 797 haul truck needed to go from the United States, specifically Texas, to Australia. This is not easy because the Caterpillar is huge and meant to carry a lot of dirt. You can't just put it on a boat and ship it. So, what did they do? First, they took the truck apart into its important pieces. Then, they put it on a big ship that went from the United States to Jamaica, through the Panama Canal, and finally to Queensland, Australia. But that wasn't the end. They had to take it off the ship and put it back together piece by piece until it was complete. This whole journey likely took months. But they did it because they needed the right machine for the mining job, and they were ready to go to great lengths to get it there. 
Number 16. Toshiba Steam Turbine Engine A big machine called the Toshiba Steam Turbine Engine was so huge that they needed a special truck to move it. Even with that truck, they could only move it a few kilometers each day, not each hour. They had to go very slowly over 82 bridges. It was the heaviest thing ever moved in Texas at that time. The tires of the truck were squashed flat on the ground because of the weight. When they crossed bridges, all the workers had to get out of the truck to make sure everything was safe. It took a lot of work to get ready for the move, even though the actual moving didn't take months. It was a big job to move such a massive engine. Number 15. Wind Turbine Blades You might have seen big wind turbine blades being moved on trucks on roads or highways. These blades are part of wind turbines that make clean energy. They are really big, even though they might look small from far away. But when you get close to them, they are massive. It can make you feel dizzy because of their size. Moving these blades isn't easy. They need to be put on long trucks, but it's hard to take them to places where there are lots of wind turbines, especially if the roads are difficult. A video from China shows how tricky it can be. The truck carrying the blade has to go through twisty roads to reach its destination. It takes a skilled driver and a lot of patience to do it safely. That's why you need a professional driver for the job. Number 14. Giant Ramses II Statue Let's talk about moving something important for history. In 2018, the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities had to move a very old statue of Ramses II, a famous Egyptian king, to a new museum. They needed to do this very carefully. They used two big vehicles and had many people watching over it. It was a delicate job because the statue is a valuable piece of history. If anything went wrong, it would have been a big problem. Luckily, everything went well and the statue made it to the museum safely. Number 13. An Airbus A380 Fuselage Let's talk about how an Airbus A380 is made from a long time ago until now. An Airbus A380 is a very big airplane that's important in the world today. It's not just any airplane, it's special. Back in 2018, it was the biggest passenger airplane in the world. It can carry more than 850 people and is 73 meters long. That's really big, and that's not even talking about how wide and tall it is. This airplane is made in a special airport in France. It's not something one person can do alone. It's a team effort. First, let's talk about the parts. There are 4 million parts in an Airbus A380, and they come from 30 different countries. Some of these parts are so large that they can't be flown in. Instead, they're brought by big boats owned by Airbus. Once the parts arrive, they're taken to the airport. They don't just arrive quietly, there's often a big parade. Then, the parts are put together. It's a slow process, which is why there are only a few dozen of these airplanes in the world. It takes a long time to build one. Number 12. NASA External Tank NASA had this big thing called the External Tank. It's a huge tank used for fuel. It was really heavy, about 30,000 kilograms, and super long, almost 50 meters. They used to move it on a big boat. But when they didn't need it anymore, they had to move it by truck through the busy streets of Los Angeles. Los Angeles streets are tough to drive on, even for regular cars. They took the tank to its new home to honor all the work it did for the space program. Number 11. Floating Dry Docks Imagine this. It's World War II, and you're in the US Navy. You're in a big fight with Japan, and your ship caught damaged. It's not sinking, but it definitely needs fixing. So, what do you do? Well, you have two options. Either go back to land and use a dry dock there, or use one of the special floating dry docks the Navy made. To help fix ships faster during the war, the US Navy built huge floating dry docks and put them in the ocean. These docks let ships move in under their own power. Then, the water gets drained so repairs can happen. Once the repairs are done, they fill it back up with water and the ships can leave. Different sizes of dry docks were made for different types of ships. They built them big, medium and small. 
It was tough to get them into the ocean, but they managed to make it work with several of them, and it really helped get ships back in action quickly. Number 10. Nuclear Reactor Unit Nuclear reactor units work for a certain time and then need to be taken apart. This unit worked from 1968 to 1992. When it was time to take it apart, they put its metal shell into a big steel cylinder filled with grout to stop radiation. They sealed it and stored it safely. It was probably very stressful to take it apart, seal it, move it, and keep it safe. They didn't want another nuclear accident, but thankfully, there wasn't one. Number 9. Heat Recovery Steam Generator A heat recovery steam generator is like a machine that catches heat from really hot air. It turns that heat into steam, which can be used to make power or do other jobs. In 2017, one of these machines had to be moved down a river. It was super heavy, about 3.6 million kilograms. So, they put it on a big boat and sailed it down the river carefully. They even made a special ferry just for it and had lots of support to make sure nothing went wrong. Number 8. Oil Rig Platforms Oil rig platforms are structures in the water where people drill for oil. They are built in different ways depending on where they are needed. Some are fixed to the bottom of the ocean to stay steady, while others float on the surface. Building them is not easy. It takes a lot of planning and skill. If they are not built properly, they can cause big problems later on. That has happened before. Number 7. Bullwinkle Bullwinkle was a really tall oil platform in the Gulf of Mexico. It was put there in 1988 and was held up by a big pile. The whole thing weighed 77,000 tons. It was so big that compared to the boat next to it, it looked huge. Making it cost about half a billion dollars, it's one of the biggest offshore structures in the world, standing at 1,353 feet tall. It started working in 1989 and helped a lot in getting oil and gas from the region. The platform had advanced technology and safety measures to handle tough marine conditions. Even though it was huge, it was good at getting resources from under the ocean floor and following strict environmental rules. Number 6. Large Power Transformer The electric grids all over the world are very important. Moving transformers that help these grids is both important and dangerous. The bigger the transformer, the harder it is to move it. Some of these big transformers weigh up to 270,000 kilograms. This means they can only be transported in certain ways without getting damaged. Mostly, they have to be driven around. But their size and shape can cause problems. They might hit things along the way. So, you need special permission to move them across the country. There's a special rail car made for transporting them, but there aren't many of them available. Number 5. Statue of Liberty The Statue of Liberty was not built where it stands now. It had to be moved from France to the United States, which was a long journey. The statue is very big and heavy, so it was hard to move it across the Atlantic Ocean. They took it apart into 350 pieces and put them in over 200 wooden boxes to make the journey easier. The French made sure to label everything so it could be put back together in America. But when the parts arrived, they had to wait for the Americans to finish building the pedestal. Only then could they finish putting the statue together. This changed the New York skyline and American history forever. Number 4. Ever Ace Check out this twist. Instead of just talking about moving heavy stuff around, let's focus on one special ship. It's called the Ever Ace, and it's the biggest container ship in the world as of 2021. The Ever Ace belongs to Evergreen, a company known for its large ships. This ship can hold over 23,000 cargo units. To give you an idea, the ship that comes close to its size can carry 20,000 units. In the shipping business, being able to carry more stuff is a big deal. The Ever Ace is not only bigger, but also wider and deeper than similar ships, showing how tricky it must have been to bring materials to build it to the dock. Number 3. ESA Vehicles Let's talk about space vehicles from the European Space Agency, ESA. ESA is in Europe. They have different ways to move their vehicles to launch pads. 
Unlike NASA, they move their stuff little by little. This is very efficient. Their location lets special boats bring everything piece by piece. This makes it easy to put things in and out when needed. When everything is together, they're ready to launch. Number 2. Pioneering Spirit The Pioneering Spirit is a special ship. It's not for carrying containers, but for building things at sea. In the past, people have built big things like oil platforms in the ocean. When these things need to be taken down, they use a ship like the Pioneering Spirit. This ship can lift and remove large oil and gas platforms. It can also put in place pipelines for oil and gas under the sea. Usually, setting up or taking down these platforms is hard work and needs lots of planning. But with the Pioneering Spirit, it's much easier. This saves time and money for the companies involved. Number 1. Petrochemical Splitter Big machine moves slowly on roads. It's called Petrochemical Splitter. It's really heavy, 800,000 kilograms. In 2019, it had to move from Alberta to Fort Saskatchewan. It's not easy to move something this big. It's 96 meters long. It took four days to reach its new home. People had to be careful because it moved slowly. Government warned about it. Finally, it reached its new home safely. This shows how hard it can be to move big things. Did you find this interesting? Do you know about other big things moved like this? Tell me in the comments.